Hello everyone and welcome and in this video I'm going to give you an update on the produce that I've been growing as well as what I'm going to be growing in the next couple of months. So one of the things that I've been growing is tomatoes. Um, this is the third year I've um, been growing tomatoes and um, they're a good uh, thing to grow if you want to. You're just starting out on your gardening journey, they're a good thing to grow and as long as you look after them um, you'll get a good crop. Um, at the end, so um, I started them off in a propagator as well as some chili seeds in another propagator as well and when they got their true leaves then transported them to a smaller uh, pot like this um, and then um, into a bigger pot uh, about a month after so um, here's a look at how you transport them from the um, propagator to the smaller pots and then I'm going to show you in a minute how to transport one from a smaller pot to the much bigger pot. So after about six weeks um, the seedlings are now ready to transfer into um, pots um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to do them one at a time so they've got their own individual pot um, and then when they get their true leaves, then um, they will be okay to go outside. But now um, we give them their individual pots. They have more room to grow, more roots to grow. Um, and this will be the start of getting um, our great tomato plants. So I'm going to show you how to um, do that. Um, so let's, uh, as you can see, there's quite, a some of them have got, some next to each other so we need to just be careful when um, removing them that um, we separate the roots and um, there are some that are just um, quite small and just coming out but we can leave them um, in the propagator with a lid on uh, just to um, grow on that bit further and I'll put a label on uh, that I'm going to put in the pot uh, so that um, we can keep track on progress. Okay, so uh, let's do the first one. So I'm going to just put some uh, compost into the pot uh, and then we get the seedling out and we will plant that in. So we're just going to carefully lift these out. And we've got a couple there we need to separate. So we're just going to Carefully separate them there. We'll put that one for a second. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make with your thumb or a pencil, just make a hole, and then we're going to sit that right in there. And then we want to cover as much of the uh, root as possible. Let's firm that down, just make sure it's nicely compacted around it. Okay, and then we give it a bit of a water as well, and then we do that with the uh, rest of the seedlings as well. And like I say, I've given it a label. So we've got a reference point so we can keep an eye on how it does. So these leaves are not the true leaves, so once they get their other leaves, then we can um, put them outside to get the natural sunlight. There we go. Okay, so I've got one here that needs transporting from a smaller pot um, into um, a bigger pot. Filled um, this pot up with some compost. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little well in the middle. This is using new compost, don't use any from outside just in case it is uh, contaminated uh, from other plants or um, insects or birds or anything. So I'm just going to make a little hole in there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, gently uh, push from the bottom to try and release it. And then hopefully, I'm just going to do it over the um, pot. May just have to ease it at the bottom a bit. 
This one has not long been watered actually, so hopefully I'm going to get all the roots out. There we are. So then we're going to just push that in. Now what you want to do is you can move, remove these, um, remove these leaves and take them off. And then what we want to do is the, the hairs that are coming out from the um, uh, roots, like the main stalk, you want to try and get as many of them buried in the compost because then they will then grow into roots and you'll get a much stronger plant. Just going to um, push that down and then we'll add some more compost around it. And yeah, like I say, it's the third year I've been doing tomatoes and um, always get a good crop from them. And I've just been um, growing them in my conservatory. You could use a greenhouse. Um, conservatory, a conservatory acts very much like a greenhouse. So it's a good alternative if you don't have one. Um, okay, and then that can just have a little water. And now that will grow nice and big like the others. Um, as I see, we've got some here. Um, I put most of them outside now, just got a few here just to show you. Um, I've put um, a support cane, um, which just to support the plant, especially when it's quite windy outside, so they don't uh, fall over and um, risk of uh, the main uh, stem breaking. What I'm going to do is these lower down leaves, I'm just going to remove them to try and discourage any um, insects and slugs and that growing up. And you can see actually there strong roots growing through there. So that's why it's a good, nice, tall, strong plant. And you can see, um, i show you, you can see up there, the little, little buds growing now where the tomatoes will grow out from. So we should get tomatoes in uh, maybe a few weeks or maybe a bit quicker. So that's the tomatoes. So they're coming along nicely and I'll give you an update on them in the next video. The chilies a uh, bit of a no, no, no show at the moment. Um, I've still got a few um, in the propagate and a few in some uh, smaller plants over there just to see if they progress any further. I had a good crop last year but they can be hit and miss because they need obviously a lot more uh, warmer weather. Uh, from the cauliflowers that grew in the smaller pots, I've got one now here in a, a bigger pot um, starting to grow and um, so that's um, doing well, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and then also uh, I grew some um, flowers as well, got some uh, lavender and some poppy seeds. So um, here's a quick look at them. So this is how the lavender's doing at the moment. And then here we have the poppies and this is how they're doing so far. Um, and then what about this month? So what am I planning on growing at this month? Well, um, I planted um, uh, these a few weeks ago. Um, we've got some, uh, we've got some radish, some broccoli, purple sprouting broccoli, some uh, cabbage, sweet and beetroot. So here's a look at how to do them, and then also um, a little look at how they are progressing now. Purple sprouting broccoli can be planted in April or May and we should see them ready to harvest around March and April of the next year. The seeds need to be sowed 13mm deep in rows that are 15cm apart into a raked moist warm soil.
I have tied a piece of string to a stick at each end. This will just help separate each different item of produce. I'm growing the produce in a grow tunnel which will help protect against birds and other pests. The tunnel I'm using has three different doors on it which are accessed via zips. This means I can open it to water and check the produce and then just close it and protect it against the elements and also birds and pests. Once you have sown the seeds, just cover over and firm down the soil with your hand. Give the seeds a little water as they need to be kept moist until they germinate. In this patch I'm going to be growing savoy cabbage. The seeds need to be planted 15mm deep with a much larger spacing of 60cm in between as they'll obviously grow a lot larger than say the broccoli. The cabbages should take around 3-4 to four months to grow. They require a lot of sunlight so plant them in a position that receives a lot of sunlight. I'm also going to be planting some beetroot, the variety I'm using is Detroit 2. The seed should be placed in finely raked soil 13mm deep with a spacing of 30cm between rows. Keep the soil moist until the seeds have germinated. They should take around 6-8 to eight weeks to grow and can be planted from the end of April. Next I'm going to be growing radish. The variety I'm using are a mixed variety which consists of French Breakfast Free, Scarlet Globe, Sparkler, White Turnip and Pink Beauty. The seeds should be planted in a sunny position into warm moist soil 13mm deep with a spacing of 30cm between rows. Keep the seeds moist until they have germinated. The radish should be ready in about 6-8 to eight weeks and can be planted from around March time. And finally we have Swede, the variety I'm using is called Best of All. The seeds can be planted from May to July and the seeds need a spacing of 45cm between rows and need to be covered with 1.5cm of soil and they need to be kept moist. The seedlings will start to appear between 14 to 21 days. The 
So after a few weeks you can see that some of the uh, broccoli uh, seeds have started to germinate. We've got a lot more with the um, cabbage, quite a few showing there. Uh, with the beetroot we've got uh, one or two coming through um, at the moment. And also with the radish as well, uh, we've got a couple coming through. And also the swede, we've got um, a few there. So that's why I'm starting to grow and now um, let me know in the comments what you're growing and what you have success with, any tips you have on anything um, you grow. I started doing gardening three years ago roughly, two to three years ago. Um, but um, yes, yeah, really enjoying it and um, you get some good crops um, at the end of it. So um, in our um, box in the last video, I've got this kind of... Um, I was like an advent hand kind canning of for gardeners, I think it was just left over. Um, but there's like different flowers and uh, it says bees gift, so it's helped to uh, encourage bees, which is of course is a good thing to encourage into your garden. So we got this, um, uh, what are they, marigolds, I think, weren't they? French marigolds. Yeah, French marigolds. Um, in this little pot, you get everything in there the seeds um, and the uh, the compost that you need so let's uh let's now uh plant them um, and then we'll open the box and see what the other ones uh we get that we can do so that's what you get in the pot so you get obviously the seeds you got your little sort of coils of uh, compost in there in the little pot so it says um yes yeah, so they're french french marigolds petite blooms from summer through to autumn Includes the seeds, grow pot, and coil soil discs, which we've got there. Um, and it says, sow indoors from February to May. Transplant from May to June uh, for flowers from June to October. So, see, we're just hitting June now. So, obviously, just, um, just a few days into June at the time of recording this. But, obviously, we're still doing them um, and see what happens. It says place the coal discs into a waterproof container, add approximately 60 mils of water and allow to absorb to create a soil-like consistency. So, um, obviously they've got holes in the pot, so it'd be an idea to have a little um, uh, container underneath as well. So what I'll do is um, just grab One of these just to catch water so I've got 60 mils of water so I just put that in and obviously any other can leak out the bottom onto the tray and you can see oh yeah expanding straight away just break that up a bit Uh, and then once that's, I just add a bit more water in there, just to soften that up a bit. Um, and then once that's done, uh, oh yeah, add more water slowly as needed. Fill the pot and sow some of the seeds evenly. Press down lightly and water keep at 18 to 21 degrees uh, Celsius is the ideal temperature. So that's fine for sort of keeping in here you can see how much it's expanded now from those um discs so i will now just add a bit more water um and then we'll put the seeds in okay so i've added a little bit more water um now i'm going to add some of the seeds um it says um so fill the pot and some of the seeds evenly press down lightly. Uh, thin out into larger pots or direct when large enough to handle. Transplant to final spacing of 25 centimeters from May for summer flowers. These are quite big seeds because some some seeds um very hard to hard to sort of see, uh, but these ones are quite distinctive. And um, yeah, she gets a nice marigold um, at the end of it. So let's just um, 
open again to this packaging if we can. And then let's just get a few of the seeds in. I'm just going to make a little spacing because I assume we need to um, just cover them as well. So let's just cover that over. Let's give it a little water as well. Okay, and then we will uh, keep an eye on them. And then um, obviously I can do some of the others in some of my pots that I've got. So I'll keep you updated um, on that along with everything else. So let's have a look at what else we've got in this box. What have we got now? So we've got that one there is September to December. So obviously we won't open that one yet. That's the one we've done February to May. So we've got on here March, June. Obviously we're just in um, June now. So I will, um, I'll do this one um, shortly and I'll, um, oh, that's interesting. I'll get it out. Literally is just <laughs> okay. I don't explain very much. Just a don't even say on it, does it? What it is? Just a random, um, yeah, just a random sort of lump of dried soil. So I'm assuming you're supposed to just plant that and get something mystery. Okay, so I will um, do that, and then I can update in the next video. So we've got another March to June here. Get this open. Uh, this door doesn't want to come open very well. Oh, there's actually nothing in that one. I think some of these have fallen down. Alright, we've got another March to June here. Nothing in that one as well. Oh, that's a bit weird. I've right, got May to September there. Uh, we've got August to September, March to June. Uh, we've got an April to May one, so we've missed that one. Uh, but as it's only just June, we could still do that. We've got a few March to June's. Okay, so I'm going to open these ones and then I'll uh, I'll jump cut to show you what they are. Okay, so they're still a June, July, August to September. Well, May to September and September to December. So I'll leave them for next time. So, um, yeah, it looks like, unfortunately, some of them have actually fallen down. Because um, I've got three more of these um, dried ones uh, with the seeds in. So we can plant them. Just see what happens, because I don't know if they've fallen from the right month or not. Um, we've got these um, in the uh, May to, um, is it May to September? Uh, oh no, actually April to May, no, was, the April, was it April to May or was it, um, no, that was in the um, March to June one. So these are um, Poppy uh, Shirley mix, uh, some interesting uh, poppies there, so we can do them. And then this is an interesting one. This is what we got in the um, bottom one, which was the um, April to May. So a butterfly and bee mixture, summer flowering, easy sow seeds carpet. So um, are the seeds, oh yeah, I can feel the seeds in there, so I won't open that up. Um, I'll read the instructions on how to do that, um, along with the others um, as well. So, um, nice mystery selection there. So, we'll see what we um, get out from them and I'll update you 
in the, the next video. Yes, yeah, so it's just a, just a, I don't know if it's left over from Christmas or what, a gardener's year. Um, but you know, it's reduced. I thought, oh, nice to try and I'll see, plant some different flowers. So I hope you enjoyed that um, update. Like I said, I'll do another update um, shortly on um, the produce I've been growing in the garden, as well as uh, hopefully get some tom tomatoes by the next um, video as well. And uh, of course, let me know in the comments what you're growing and any tips you have. You know, it's good to share tips around. And um, yeah, I uh, hope you um, get some inspiration to grow stuff yourself. Um, and especially good, especially with uh, in the UK, we've got some uh, availability issues often. We did have with tomatoes recently and other stuff when there's bad weather in Spain and that. So growing your own is always a good thing as well because you always have your crops available. Um, and uh, I'll grow some other stuff as well. I look out for, I always look out for seeds. You know, often get them, a good time to get them cheap is when they're out going out of season. They just keep them for the next year. Um, and, uh, you know, they'll be fine. So um, thank you for watching and uh, do give the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you found it helpful. And consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications of future gardening videos as well as other content as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.